Happy Thursday to you, day 28. We're so glad that you tuned in to join us today. And what a great day it is today too, because tonight at 7 p.m., we launch our May edition small groups. Our regular small group spring semester finishes at the end of April, and then we normally take a break through May, pick up again for the summer edition in June and half of July. But because of the physical distancing and the need that there is for us to stay connected, we have added another four week semester. It's a semester all by itself. And we are studying the same topic. So it's not men's, women's, married, finance. It's everyone together studying the same topic. And what we're gonna be discussing is Sunday message. So the Sunday message, we're gonna send out discussion points and questions, and we're gonna really look into God's word, and we're gonna see the life application that we can have from each Sunday's message and how it can change our life. So seven o'clock tonight, you can start to sign up to register for the groups that are gonna begin on May the 3rd. And we're so excited, we've got groups every day of the week week, morning and night so you can be involved and you can be connected. There's no reason for you not to be involved and everything's going to be done through Zoom. So it's a free app on your phone and you can get connected with that. So here we are again, we are soaping the word of God. We're looking at the scripture, God's word, his love letter to us, the observation, what's it saying directly to me, the application, what do I need to do about it? And then the prayer, God help me to do that. So today, as we continue to look through Psalms 34, we're going to take two verses today, verse 11 and 12 from the New Living Translation. It says, come up my children and listen to me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Do any of you want to live a life that is long and good? The answer, of course, is yes. I mean, why would you not want to? But how do I live that kind of life? Here it is again, the fear of God. But it's important to note before the fear, it says these words, come and listen, come and listen. Many times we don't listen to God. Many times we don't come to God to listen to him. I'm reminded of the story of Samuel, and it's actually the other way around. Listen and come in this story, because the Bible says the word of God was very rare in those days. But one day God came to speak to Samuel and from a distance he called him, actually called him three times. Each time Samuel woke, went to Eli and said, yeah, what do you want? Eli said, it wasn't me. Finally, Eli tunes in and says, it must be God. And the Bible says something different in the third attempt that God made, because it says he came and called as before. So this time when he's ready to listen, God's not distant. God's right there. So when we come to God and when we are prepared to listen, I really believe God leans into us and God wants to touch our lives. And I think COVID-19 has been a great way for us to turn down the world so we can turn up and we can hear God in a greater way. And again, we see the word fear. We discussed this a couple of days ago, but the Bible often connects fear or the fear of the Lord with a love and a reverence for him which leads to obedience. A couple of scriptures from you, from Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 13, it says, for, for fear God and obey his commands. John 14, 23 says, and all those who love me will do what I say. And we're gonna discuss that tomorrow. What is it that will produce that life in us? And it's don't lie, turn from evil, do good and promote peace. And like I said, we're going to discuss that more tomorrow. But remember this, reverence and having a fear of God is more than just sitting quietly in church. So here's the application. It includes obedience, obeying God in the way we speak and in the way we treat other people. Have you checked your obedience lately? Have you checked your life lately and just to see how you are? Because I'm telling you, the greater the darkness, the brighter the light needs to shine. So the application for our lives is, man, I, I need to come to God. I need to listen because if I'm in that position, God will speak. When I have that godly reverence and love and fear for God, God will lead my life. Do I want a long and good life? Man, sign me up. Where do I sign up? There it is. Right through God's word, as we fear God, as we come to him, as we trust him. So today, in a quiet time, through worship, through the word, 
Create opportunities in your life where you can quieten down the world and you can come into the presence of God because the Bible says, be still and know that I'm God. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you again today for your goodness and mercies to us. God, we thank you for the promises that we have in your word. We thank you, God, for what the fear of God unlocks to our lives, a life of obedience and love towards you. God, as we come and we listen God, just the benefits that we have in our lives. And I pray that every one of us would live fully in the benefits that you have for our lives. Why? By fearing you, trusting you, living for you. And God, again, we ask, put your hedge of protection all around us. Keep all sickness and disease from us and our homes, we pray. We love you. We adore you in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget tonight, sign up May edition small groups. Four-week semester beginning May the 3rd. Everyone together in different groups. Also, if you need any help, any information, all the contact information is on the screen. Call us, email us. We want to help in any way. We love you. Stay connected. Stay committed. Have an incredible day. 